Greetings WordPressers. In today's show, we are going to build an entire website in 30 minutes. Jackson here, welcome to the channel. This is where I share my tips, tricks and tutorials all about WordPress. And if WordPress is your thing, I do encourage you to subscribe if you are new here. And check out the description below. It has all the uh, show notes and blurb and links to all the stuff we're gonna be going through in today's session. Plus, it has a link to download my new free Elementor starter theme called Cento, Cento version two. It's free, grab yourself a copy. The link's in the description. All right, on with today's show. So we're gonna take a fresh install of WordPress, we're gonna install the Cento theme and we're going to import one of the demos. So it's a full site, it's a single page, beautiful site. And we're gonna take that and use it as a starting place to then customize the hell out of it with new images, text, fonts, colors, and all that sort of jazz. Now I've done a bit of homework. I've got the images, I've got the copy, I've got the font choices. And all we're gonna do is take the old stuff and swap it out for the, all the new stuff we've got ready to go. So on with the show, building a website in 30 minutes with the brand new Cento theme for Elemental. So here we go with a 30 minute website build. We've got the Cento theme page here and the starter site, the demo that we're gonna customize into our brand new website is the Amalia one page scroll site. So if we go take a look at Amalia, there she is. We see that we have like a hero landing section, menu, uh, logos, strap line, banner, down to the about section. We've got the flowers, uh, you know, the services or products as it were, a bit of a quote from a very satisfied customer then we're down to a uh, contact section with the uh, footer and copyright all good to go so what i've done is i've taken the website brief and picked out a starter site that can fit the bill for this brief and taking the assets of the new site and that's the images logo fonts font styles and the copy, the text, headlines and paragraphs, all that jazz, um, I've actually built out a mock-up. Now you don't necessarily have to do this, you could just start throwing all that stuff into the site once it's installed. But um, let's go take a look at my folder where I've got all the notes for this new project called Norman. Now Norman is an artisan product maker in San Francisco and I have done a, a little mock-up of what his website should look like. And here we do have indeed like the hero section, logos and menu. There's our banner. So if we flip back to Amalia, we'll see, scroll back up and we'll see that we've got the same things going on. So I've designed the mock-up based around the Amalia layout and the sections that go with it. Let's go back to normal and see we've got the banner there and the about section there a little section for our product. So his is a workshop, the stuff he makes. There's our quote and the contact and the footer area. So we're basically gonna install the Amalia starter site and then customize the hell out of it in about 30 minutes. Now I've done a bit of preparation. I've go grab my notes. So on a text document, I have got all the text. Let's go grab that. Uh, for Norm, we've got the headline, all the text and copy for the different sections. Plus I've got the fonts we're gonna use along with the colors for the different sections. So I've done a little bit of homework here. And if we go back also, we can see we've got all the images for the site. And so we've got the backgrounds, uh, the product shots, the different logos, etc. So that's all we need to get cracking. So let's get started and install Cento and get the Amalia starter site up and ready to customize. Okay, so we have got a fresh install of WordPress, nothing added, nothing taken away. We can view that on the front end, just another WordPress site ready for our new build. Okay, first things first, let's go and install our theme. Go to appearance and themes. We'll click the add new button and click the upload theme button and that will give us the choose file option. And go grab our Cento version which we have downloaded and we'll click the install now button and that will install for us. Install, we'll click the activate button and we'll be taken to the Cento start page. There's four sections to the setup of Cento. One is to watch the 
uh, two minute setup tutorial you might be actually watching some of that as we speak uh, the next one is to install the required basic plugins these are the core plugins that need to be installed on top of the thing things like elementor and a few other choice bits that make it all so together so let's click install plugins and we'll let that install all the various plugins and once they're done we get the all done now button and we click on that and we are taken to our choice of starter kits starter themes that we want to use for this particular website now we know we want to choose amalia so we're going to go and grab amalia and click the import button we're going to go yes import and what you might find with some of the uh, starter kits and full sites is that they may need one or two extra plugins. And if that's the case, then you'll be told that. Click the OK button, click the install extra plugins button. And in this case, we just need contact form seven. Let's run that import again. Import, yes, import. And Cento will do the full content import of that site and there we go. We have got the site installed. We just need to double check our permalinks are saved. Click save and we are ready to start customizing. Let's go have a look at the front end now. If you recall, we had a very plain website before. If we just give that a hard refresh and check it out, we do have a brand new copy of Amalia ready to start customizing. So, so next up, we're going to go to our notes section and we're going to start swapping out all the stuff we've got here and on our images for what is on the Amalia site. Okay, first things first, I think we should sort out the logos and the menu and the hero section. So if we head to our back end and we can jump straight to the customizer from the Cento menu and that is indeed where our where our site identity lives. And so we'll get in there and we'll just call this Norman. And we will get our little strap line, I think. Do, 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 do. Let's stick that as our tagline. And we'll change the logo up to be the logo we've got here. So logo mini, I believe, is that the one? And obviously we don't need to crop it so because that is the one there. Uh, next, we've got to um, get the, the right font for the for the menu icons. And so if we go to our customizer main menu, we've got the nav bar here. And so we can choose the font for the menu text. And at the moment, it's set to the Amalia Nixie one. And for the for the menu, I think let's have a look at our mock up. I think it is the Open Sans font. So let's get back to Open Sans on that. And we'll do that for the active menu item as well, open sans. And on our mock-up, we'll, you'll see that the font is uppercase. So let's just change all that to uppercase. Of course, the menu items need to be changed slightly as well. We'll, just get, we'll get to that in a second. Let's publish that. And we'll close the customizer and go to appearance menus. And we shall change flowers to workshop and that is our work done we can leave the url because that's being used by elementor to navigate to that section so the fact it says services there is cool uh, also you'll notice here that our other menu items facebook twitter and instagram well on our mock-up he hasn't got instagram but i think he probably should do so let's leave instagram in there and get a get an email over to norman to say uh sort that out all right save that menu up what else do we have to do right i think now we need to look at the Let's go and have a look at our front end actually on Firefox. My weapon of choice for inspecting stuff. And there's our menu change. Um, let's just have a, look, a little look at the mock up now. We've got the background picture and we've got the logo smack in the middle. So let's go back to our dashboard and we'll go to pages. And we've only really got one page apart from the privacy a policy, but we'll edit that with Elementor. I'm going to open that in a new tab. And let's get cooking. Right, select that section and we'll go to the style and we'll choose an image, new one. We'll upload our new image, which is our background. We'll look at the hero Norman. That's the one we need. We'll insert that. Job done. Okay, next up. Now... Actually, we don't need the strap line here, so we'll just delete that. 
and we'll change the image of the Big Hero logo. We'll upload our larger Norman logo. There he is. Insert that media. And I think we've got a, a space at the top here, which I think we should reduce. So we'll click on that and we'll just bring that down a bit. So that feels a bit more in the sensor. That one is 50 and that one is, let's make that 50 as well. So that should sit nicely on the page. And let's get rid of, there's a, let's delete that. So that's all nice and centered. Let's update that. And let's have a look at our front end and we'll give that a refresh. Shazam, we have got our hero in place. Okay, next up, we scroll down, we're still looking a little bit Amalia on this banner. So let's go back to our mock and see what's going on there. Okay, so this is this brown with this checked background. We've also got the strap line there and these images. So let's get all that in. So we're back to our elemental editing page and we're gonna go and get the background for that one. Let's go find what that color is. Banner is this color. So let's get, change the background color to our color. Okay, cool. Now we need to get this text in, which is the handcrafted in the heart of San Francisco. Let's paste that in. Uh, and we obviously we need to change the font for that. So let's call up the element of typography. And what was the font? The font was Petite Formal. Let's grab that and we'll just stick that in the search there. At there it is. It looks about the. Let's just check the the mock. Yeah, could go full width. So let's up that to yeah a bit further across. Uh, and we've got on our mock. We've got these these little scrolls. So let's go to our elements and grab an image, and we'll stick that above there. And we should go choose our image, and we'll upload both of those scroll files. Let's get bottom and top in there. And it's the top that we want, which is that. Let's insert that. And then we'll just duplicate, right click, duplicate that. Drag that underneath the banner there. And we'll just change the image to the bottom. And that's looking like it should look. Now, the thing with the, looks like the, the, the space is a little large. So let's sort that out. And these images actually as well are a little on the wide side. So let's, just make them like probably forty percent is better. Let's put them both to forty percent. That's cool. Now we need to sort out the spacing. So let's start by putting some spacing around the top and the bottom of the actual section to space those scrolls. Let's untick the link and we'll put ten px on the top and. 10 px on the bottom that's cool now we need to reduce the size of this this guy here let's just kill off any padding that was on the original we're just going to click zero everything and we'll just zero that as well just okay so that's about right i think let's just look at this mock again yeah a little, a little we just need to drag that up a little bit so i'm going to take this scroll here and i'm going to use a reverse margin on the top so we put a reverse margin in there, we'll see that that scroll will slowly get its way to where it should be. And that looks about right. Okay, now let's go and get this uh, background overlay for the color, which is what we're seeing in the mock-up. Okay, cool. So let's go back to our back end and highlight the banner section and go to the style. And here we can add a background overlay. We'll grab an image and that is on our files that we've got on our desktop. And that would be the background texture Norman. And we'll insert that. And that should give us our textured style. Now it might be worth just noting that we'll go position, center, center. We'll also leave the attachment as scroll, repeat, repeat, just in case you've got someone with an enormous screen. And that looks about right. Okay, on to the about section. We'll just give that a quick update and take a look at what that looks like in the front end. Quick refresh. 
and we do indeed have our rather nice looking banner. Okay, so next up we have got the about section. Let's get rid of Amalia and let's get Norman's stuff in there. Back to our about section. We first need to go to that section, highlight that, go to style and change the background image to our Norman image. And that would be on our background sections and that would be the about background section. We'll insert that. And of course, it's still got the Amalia overlay, which is a slightly pink color. Let's see if we've got the color for that. I think we do actually just change. Let me just look at the mock. We just change that for. Yeah, that's just more of a black overlay, standard style. So let's just change the color of the overlay to not Amalia pink, but black. And that looks perfectly correct. Let's go back to our mock. Okay, so we, we're going to lose this side. In fact, let before we do that, let's get our inner column border sorted out. So we're just going to say, let's just zero those and turn it to none. Uh, and we'll get rid of that background overlay. Uh, we'll just get rid of that. So, uh, it's a background. So we'll just clear that, get rid of that. And we're just going to copy that column and paste styles into there. So that will lose all of that stuff. Now let's go have a look at our mock. We need to get our Norman is. So let's get the text for Norman is. Norman is. We'll change, swap that text over straight in there. Just check, actually, we've got a little bit of formatting that's come with that. So let's sort that out. Let's get our bio stroke info. And I'm just going to paste that in as plain text, just so we've definitely not got any formatting uh, problems there. Now let's get these colors sorted out. Let's get the style is obviously white. The typography is Oswald. And let's have a look at the mock, see what we're thinking with that. It's all uppercase, so let's change that to uppercase. It's going to give that a little update and we go and to our text now and make that white. And that's now white. Okay, update that. Keep saving, keep saving. Let's go and have a look at our front end, give our front end a refresh. And I do believe that we now have quite a tidy looking mock-up. So we had, do have a little learn more button there, which we don't actually have on our Amalia site. So let's go and whack that in. So we go to elements, throw a button in there, and we'll just quickly turn that into learn more. And we'll get the style sorted out on that. We're going to go border radius zero, border type solid, width is one, it's going to be white. And it's going to have a white text and background is going to be transparent. We'll make it white and throw transparency on there. Uh, now that this probably would be a click through to the services. So we'll just put in a hyperlink there to services and we'll update that. And if we click on that, we will get down to services. Jolly good stuff. Right, now it's time for this gallery. First thing first, let's change the background color. We'll go select the section. We're going to hit the style button on Elementor and change the background to, let's go and find out what that is. It is gallery background is this kind of like dull gray. And we're going to change our flowers for all occasions to latest from the workshop. I'm going to paste that as plain text and I will need to change our font to the petty formal script. Okay, that looks good. Let's look at all that. Yeah, so that's a lot darker. Uh, so let's make that more of a up around the fives and sixes, maybe fours. That will be perfect. Let's make it bang on four. Then we do have, instead of this divider here, we have a, another scroll. So let's delete that divider, go and copy our scroll here. So we're going to go right click, element to copy, down to our, stick that above our, oh, this looks like it's gone below. Let's drag that up. Mm -hmm. 
that's cool and it's that extra negative margin on the top has pulled that out might be a little bit too much so let's give that a bit of more spacing so let's go to our advanced and bring that down just a cup couple of pixels and also i want to put some on the bottom just so it spaces out those images a little better right okay gallery select the gallery let's clear the images that are there we do want to reset it and we're going to add some new ones we are going to upload from file and go to our file on our desktop and we've got in our norman folder the product shots and so if we just grab all of those open those up they're all uploading now and bingo we can create our new gallery well obviously if we wanted to swap them around a little bit we can do that kind of thing it kind of looks okay to me actually let's have that back there and you there okay that's good insert our gallery now on our mock let's have a look at what our mock's saying these are more sort of slightly so i'm going to change the shape of these to uh the six by nine so they're a little bit more horizontal and also maybe we just need to reduce the column gap maybe just to maybe 30. it's a little bit more a little less harsh i think Okay, that's good. That's all good. Now we need to get our quote in now. So let's go grab the text for that. And that is our quote here. We are passionate. So let's go and paste that as plain text in there. Oh, of course, we need a different font. So let's go and get that petit formal script. And that's obviously way too massive. So let's give that and let's give that I think maybe just a little bit line height on there so it looks more quotey a little bit more quotey right cool there we go let's update that and have a look what we've got on our front end shall we take it from the top let's take it from the top let's do a hard refresh here is our site we can scroll down we have our banner we have our about section and we have our latest from the workshop with all our images and our quote all looking pretty fine. So let us go take a look at this uh, last main section or second to last main section, the contact form. So let's go back to our page on Elementor and let's get that background picture straight in there. We'll select that section and go to the image. We'll change the image, go upload file, select the file we want, which is the section and of the contact us. So we'll get that in. In it it goes and insert now and we shall get our picture now on our mock-up it's actually on the other side so what we're simply going to do here is take that and put it over there and just get everything aligned well obviously we'll get our actually we don't need the logo there so let's get rid of that let's get everything aligned left and Let's see why we've got that on there. That's because we've got padding, so we'll get rid of that. Uh, it looks like this little send needs a bit of work. We'll come back to that. So let's change our text to the contact text, which is book an appointment in that. And then we'll let's just have a look at our, our mock again. So that's um, in the Oswald and it's in uppercase so let's go Oswald and on the mock we've got on the we do have a little bit more text underneath that so we'll just go grab the some text stick that underneath there Put that above let's get that text in let's play, paste that as plain text Let's take a look at our mock and see what's going on there. Yeah, a little slightly higher. We also need to put a, a border on the bottom of book an appointment. So let's do that. We'll go to advanced and border and solid and we'll make it all zero. But the bottom will be a couple and it will be white, even though it's defaulting as white. That's cool. OK, so now our workshop text needs to be white and it needs to be a little bigger so let's get onto our typography and make that size probably around the 20 
I think 22 mark. And I think I might just drop the weight down slightly to something like that. That's cool. Okay, let's find out what's going on with this send. Now, I've got a feeling that the on the Amalia, there was a bit of custom CSS. So I'm going to go back to the pages view. I'm going to go to Cento and uh, Customizer. I'm just going to check what's going on in the customizer because there's quite a bit of custom CSS to make all that contact form seven stuff look kind of funky. So let's go and have a look at con the contact form seven tweaks on the CSS. And there you can see it there at the bottom, the submit button is actually got a minus 20 PX of margin right. So let's just change that to zero. So it's still floating right. I think that is because let's just uh, save that publish that go back to our Elementor page, if we actually look at the form itself, it's actually being called by a short code. That's that contact form seven extra plugin that we snuck in there on the on the install. So if we go to that text, of course, because Amalia's was on the right, we had it floating right. So let's move that to the left and we are good to go. Right, let's get on with the last section. We have got our footer. Now this footer is actually controlled by one of Cento's global parts. These are kind of like the widget parts that go into the various sidebars of the website and there's stacks of them. Check out the tutorial on global sections to see how many there are. But if we go back to the customizer menu, we see we, see we have a section for global sections. That's where you can assign global parts, elementor templates to the global sections. And there's tons of them with Cento in all sorts of different places. And the one we're interested in is the footer sections. And we can just click a link on the direct on the customizer and go and edit that in Elementor. So we just need to swap out this stuff for the stuff that's on our mock-up, which is actually a lot less to be fair. So let's get into this section. We're going to change the color straight away to our new footer color, which I believe was on our notes. And we'll just stick that in. Let's have a look at this mock-up again. We've got a kind of two parts. So let's get rid of one of these columns. That one, change the layout to a two thirds and a third. That looks probably a bit more what we're doing. We can tweak that in a second. Let's just get rid of all the content. And just that one needs to go as well. And we'll go and grab an image to stick in our logo. Let's go choose our image. And that was the main Norman logo. And we shall get our, oh, it looks like this has got quite a lot of padding around it. So we'll just get that image back to zero. Uh, we're going to set the content position as middle. That will get that text and the logo aligned. Let's go get the text for, for the finer things in life. Stick that as plain text. And we need to get onto our style, which will be the font family petit. And we obviously got to go a little larger with that. And I think actually the image could actually... Let's just make sure that our content position for that one is in the middle. And let's get the size of that. Let's reselect that image. Let's get the width of that image. It's slightly not quite as wide as that. I think that's probably a little bit less harsh. So let's change the alignment to the left so that comes in. We'll just bring that that way and we'll just align that center. So that kind of that will kind of well, sort of align that right. And that then that will kind of they'll kind of stick together, dependent on the size of the screen that you're looking at. So update the footer section, which is the global section assigned to that template. Um, let's go and have a look at that on the front end, I think a refresh is very much in order. And there we go, we have got our booking appointment form and section and we ha do indeed have Norman's finer things in life. Now I think that as actually I think I may have over egged the pudding there slightly with the moving of the uh, columns. Let's reset that to 
what it should be, which is that. And a little bit more. Like that's that kind of sort of center it, more of a natural vibe. Let's update that. Right, so the, on our customizer, we've also seen that we've got the copyright template assigned to the copyright section. So you can go in there, let's open that up. It's a very simple section. Simply, ch we change that to the Norman URL, update our privacy policy, and believe it or not, we are done. That We have actually finished our website. There it is, the Norman handcrafted gifts from San Francisco, all done in around about 30 minutes. So there you go, a 30 minute website build with the new Cento theme. Why don't you give it a try yourself today? Download link is in the description. Post your comments, tell me what you think about the new theme. Maybe share your experience with it and maybe let us know how you get on. But until next time, I shall see you later.